See, my goal is not to create a better baseball player, but it's to create a superhuman that just happens to play baseball. Looking back at my time in Philly, just having a little bit of time to reflect, uh, you know, there was, there was definitely good times, there were some bad times and whatnot. But, you know, I try to just look back on all the good uh, that was able to take place, all the success that we had. You know, obviously, winning a World Series, um, that, that's, that's, that's number one. I mean, man, there were so many great moments. Um, had a big hit in Colorado. Colorado had uh, made their way into the playoffs and swept us in three games, so it was, it was nice to return the favor, knocking those guys out. It was a great time. Spent, you know, 12 years of my life you know, in, in Philadelphia, so it's always going to have a special place in, in my heart. The mindset this year is just to continue to, to train and uh, prepare myself for, uh, for another season. 6.30 start time, it's got to be the first thing I do in the morning. Right now we're just working on getting feel, fluidity, just trying to work on getting bat path. So just kind of feeling my way around, getting my rhythm down. A typical workout for me, uh, I think we probably hit somewhere in the neighborhood about 140, 150 balls, trying to kind of build up the, uh, the endurance a little bit and then the mental focus and sharpness and whatnot. This is the first week starting to hit, so taking everything as a, uh, a work in progress, but so far it feels pretty good. It's a year round thing. So working out, hitting, all kind of baseball activity, it's just, it's year round, it never, never really stops. Now, you know, I'm done hitting, head back to the house and, uh, and go and uh, get my workout in, which is a little bit different. Uh, got my trainer in, get the body fired up, ready to go. There's still that fire, there's still that passion to want to play, to want to compete in the tank. And, you know, I, I just want to, I want to play until I burn that completely out because I believe that that ability is still there. I believe that I can go out and accomplish great things by putting in the work that I need to put in. To, to be able to go out on the field, be able to perform. So, I mean, for me, it's just, I believe it's, it's just a matter of me just going out there and just doing it. I try not to look ahead in the workouts and stuff, because y'all might see, I might be all over the place here. And right. In sports, unfortunately, you know, prior to athletes training, they're told that they need to warm up, right? But the reality is our bodies are already at 98.6 degrees. They're already warm. So what we're doing is activating the muscles that are going to be used during the course of training. Before it was like a workout is a workout is a workout, you know? I don't know, I think it's, I think that's, that's where it all, to me that's where it all has to start. I think it has to start in the training room before you can go to the weight room to figure everything out. Being here in the moment now, it's it's bad, but like you feel good. You feel good after. Feel activated. Like you got the work in that you wanted to get in, but like not like overly beat up. So I mean, it takes a toll. Like the whole nervous system and everything is like crazy. We're using gravity, right? And the ability to turn on and change direction to create a greater load that we're moving in less time. I expect amazing things from Ryan. I mean, here's a guy that, you know, over the last year went from a home run every 23 at bats to leading the league with a home run every 13 at bats to improving his exit velocity by eight to 10 miles per hour, which is equivalent to 60 to 70 feet per ball strike. That's unheard of for a guy his age, and we're only getting better. We haven't even scratched the surface as far as his potential and closing the gap on it. That was deep, that was deep, <laughs> y'all. Um, I mean, you're always gonna have people that doubt you. You're always gonna have people that say, oh, this guy can't do this, or this guy is this, or this. It's easy, it's not, they're, they're not me. Um, you know, I know the amount of work that I put in. I know 
what it takes for me to do what I need to do. You know, as a guy who went out and just tried to give my all every every single time out, um, you know, tried to go out there, go play the game the right way, tried to help my team win, tried to do the, you know do everything I could do in my power to help my team win. So, you know, hopefully people can remember that. Um, but now it's time for me to to to, to look on and, and to move forward to uh, to hopefully a new team.